In this video, let's look at how we can use the MIDI patterns in Sample Tank 3 right within our doll, simply by dragging them in. Boom, there we go. So first, I definitely suggest you check out the IK Multimedia Sample Tank 3 tutorial video number 4, Working with Patterns, that was posted by IK Multimedia to YouTube. Definitely check that out because they go into a lot of detail about how to use patterns within Sample Tank 3. For instance, here I have Part 1 selected, and I can just simply double-click on a MIDI pattern, and that's loaded up. I can also choose another MIDI pattern, still have Part 1 selected. You can see now I have two MIDI patterns right within this one area. I can add another one if I want. There we go. Now I have three MIDI patterns all in this one slot. I can also, of course, take my MIDI pattern and drop it on any key. So then I can press a key on my MIDI controller or click it. And that will play. And of course we can add more however we want. Pretty cool. And also covered in that video is the intensity slider. Of course we can adjust the key we're playing in and the quantization all within Sample Tank 3. But we can also use MIDI patterns directly within our DAW. Now I'm on Pro Tools, so this may be slightly different in some dolls. I can't say for certain because I don't have any other doll. I only use Pro Tools, so I'll just say this is for Pro Tools. So if I want to use a MIDI pattern directly within my doll, let me first get rid of those that are loaded. I'll just simply grab it and drop it right there in my doll. I just grabbed it right here from this pattern area, dropped it right in my doll. We can see here it's exactly four bars. Click on it, and there we go. And of course, this corresponds to our tempo. Let me change this to, I'll just say 200 and hit play. So now it's going faster, obviously. I'll put that back on 120. Now one thing that you need to be aware of that I have found is if you drag a MIDI pattern from our MIDI pane here, which you'll probably be doing most of the time, you see, drag it in. We can see this is exactly four bars. But if I were to load up this pattern up here into Sample Tank 3 in the Patterns area and then drag it from here, you're going to notice a little bit of a difference. Aha, uh -huh. we can see it's 33948. We can zoom in here. And this here is the pattern that I drug in from this area. We can see there's a little bit of dead space right here. Now if we go over to the other pattern, at the very end, you can see that dead space has been cut off. Now that can cause a problem if you are dragging in MIDI patterns. Let me just show you real quick. Say I have, let me load up another one here. Say I drag in this pattern. We can see it's 33620. And then I want to duplicate that, so I hit Control-D. Now I'm going to be out of time because it's not exactly four bars. Now that might work for you, and if it does, great. But I found that working with the patterns from here, right here in the MIDI pane, is a little bit better, at least for Pro Tools. I'm not sure if that's a bug, why they're getting cut off or not. But if we drag them in here, we're exactly four bars. I can Control-D, Control-D, and I have perfect duplicates that are exactly four bars in length. Awesome. 